Tyler here with GP Knives and we're back again to take a look at the Spyderco Watu. This knife is inspired by the Chakwe knife of the people of the same name of Central and Southern Africa and is a smaller version of the Chakwe folder, another knife in Spyderco's ethnic line. It has the same blade profile and handle shape as the original knives. You've got a blade of CPM 20 CV and a nice satin finish. Full height flat grind, sort of a modified worn cliff. You can see it's got a fairly straight edge, but there is some belly out here towards the tip. A nice thumb ramp, a very well designed jimped index finger choil here. You've got a nice tapering stick like handle that despite the simplicity of the design is quite comfortable and ergonomic. Very secure grip there. Scales are G10 carbon fiber laminate over stainless steel liners. And you can see there are a couple of milled holes there that enhance the overall traction. Carry is via a reversible stainless steel deep carry clip for tip up only carry. And you've got the Spyderco compression lock mechanism. You see very smooth action, both in opening and closing. You've got a nice thin blade stock on there for slicing. And we'll take a quick look at the Watu with a couple of other folders. So you can see very similar in size to the Delica. You've got a bit more cutting edge and a bit more blade on there. And then you can see the handle is actually just a little bit shorter on the chalkway, but the functional grip area is going to be about the same. Blade stock thickness is fairly similar here, as is the handle thickness. And then we'll take a look at the footprint. Close these two up. And you can see the footprint is also going to be very similar. So you're looking at something very similar in the dimensions to the Delica while being a very different design and also offering a bit more cutting edge in the same size package. Set that down, take a look at it also with the Sage 5, another one that is very different in design but similar in size. Got again, index finger choil there. And you can see the chalkway again is delivering a bit more cutting edge there. Try to line these up real well. And you can see again, a little more overall blade length and a slightly shorter handle. And part of that is just because the end of this handle is very flat as opposed to the curved designs on the other two. Thinner blade stock than the Sage 5. But you can also see you got a much finer tip on the Watu there. So a little more slicing oriented versus general utility. Functional grip area, very similar on these two. And then as you might expect, the straight and slender Watu is gonna be a little slimmer in the overall carry there. And the overall handle thickness can be pretty similar on these two. So great high performance EDC, unique design as part of the ethnic line and a very comfortable and ergonomic design. Fine tip for piercing and detail work and thin blade stock for good slicing and great performance for edge retention and corrosion resistance with that 20 CV. So the Watu is an interesting and unique design with high performance materials and a great option for everyday dress or gentleman's carry. And here you can see the Watu in my pocket. It's got a nice slim profile and narrow footprint for great carry. The wire clip provides secure and discreet carry and allows for a very smooth draw from the pocket. The knife deploys fast and smooth on the phosphor bronze washers thanks to the large Spyderco round hole in the blade. And overall makes a great lightweight, high-performance, everyday carry knife. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the Spyderco Watu. You can check it out now at gpknives.com.
Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, follow us on social media, like the video below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new products.